first games so we're delivering at this um, mirror trap from T mine here. Okay. So let's just say from mine, I managed to pull Car's arm across, Car's on his left side, and then I switched to T mine and I have the underhook here. The two problems with um, taking the arm bar from technical mount is when I frame, because obviously if I don't frame, as I go to swing my leg over his head, Car's already moving his head. If he can move his head, he can withdraw his elbow. Yeah. So if I was here and I decided to swing my leg over, car moves his head this way and then just gets his elbow to the man. So um, we would make a frame here. If that makes sense. The problem is for me to get my leg over his head, I have to raise my hips. Notice where car's elbow is. It's right in my hip. But if I actually I have to lift my hips to get my leg over, and as I do, Carl puts his elbow back. So as um, jiu-jitsu evolved, um, it became more of an S-mount armbar. So when we look at the first, we have taught this before in the club, so um, we have a course, we can look at things again. So what do I need for the armbar? I need Carl's elbow out here. Just so, make him um, bring his elbow out. I'm just gonna see my weight back. And if you have uh, short arms, your left hand is just gonna grab his jugular. If your arms are slightly longer, you're gonna grab onto that car arm. And I want a reaction off car. If I just drive the cross face into his face, his jaw, I'm not really going to get too much of a reaction. You can actually choke someone out from here if you get on the sweet spot. So I'm going to receive my weight back so my head comes down. And now I've got my shoulder underneath the chin. And I'm just going to drive my shoulder into his throat. And you can get a tap from here, but not in anyone good. Carl will turn his head. And now I'm sort of on his jaw a little bit which is uncomfortable, and then I get the reaction that I want. See the way his right hand has grabbed my shoulder? And he can kind of peel my shoulder back, but look at his uh, right elbow, it's open. From that position, I just fill that space with my knee. Again, from there, my right hand is gonna grab the side of his head, and I'm gonna bring his head into my belly, and then I just curl my foot around. Now Carl's carrying my weight. Carl tries to um, pull his elbow to the mat from here, it's just not going to happen. So I keep the grip with my right hand, and my left hand pushes Carl's um, elbow in towards my belly. And my left hand will grab my right thigh. Now, so I don't lift my hips up so Carl can get his elbow to the mat, I lean towards his legs. And I don't let go of this grip until my left foot replaces my left hand. Okay. Clamping back, sliding back to the end of the lever, and then we're in. So we talked about how a good arm bar, there's tension in the arm, you should be submitting the person long before your back hits the mat. If everything's loose, it's a terrible arm bar. Okay, so I'm pinching, we want tension in the arm. It's the same stuff when we played the Omoplata game. You need to put tension in the limb if you're going to submit it. Okay, so let's turn this back out. So from our position, to set up the arm bar, we need to be getting his elbow to the side. We can do that in a, in a number of different ways, just even leaning on Carl's throat, just to so I get this elbow out. Once I'm in that position, my right hand is going to grab Jugular, support it with my other hand, and I engage my hip, that's the easy to trip with your elbow back where I'm up, and then fill that space there with my feet. Remember we talked about the charge to main escapes, he's moving his head that way to get his elbow to the mat, and my feet is creating that space. He also wants to get his elbow to the mat if I lift my hips. So when I bring this arm back and bring it through and find my hip, I'm not lifting my hips, I lean towards his legs. Uh, 
turn his head, he makes that grip, I fill the space with my knee, and then my hand grabs his head, he's pulling towards me, okay. then I'm going to lean towards my foot, as I bring my S mount in, and then from there, keep the grip of the right hand, the left comes back, bring this across, grab my own hip, lean towards his legs, and I don't let go of my right hand until my left foot replaces. Find the end of the lever, pinch. Good. So that's the S my arm If you have never done it before, cross on me. Just work on the escape. As much as the, as the S my arm bar is a really good technique, we are not using our traditional methods of escaping the arm bar. So, let's say, open elbows there, guard comes up. Brings my arm across and we end up in this position here. There's no way I get my elbow in. There. And there's no way I, you know, even to stop the leg coming over my head, which I've already covered. The thing about the S mount arm bar is Carla's connection with me. I'm carrying his weight. You can hear my voice, it does not feel comfortable here. His weight is on my diaphragm. The problem is now, where I move, Carl moves. Now if I just look to where Carl has no base. Be 45 degrees this way. Okay. If I try to hip escape that way, Carl can kind of ride the movement a little bit. It's just that. The detail is my elbow, I just push it into this hip. Uh -huh. That's the detail. As I shrink. Now, from here, if I just stay here, that leg's going over. So as I come up, this hand, this free hand, you know, just stops the leg. So we just use um, the strengths of the S mount, which is connection, right? Even though he doesn't have to lift his hips to get on his leg over my head, he's, I'm carrying his weight. But where I go, he goes. Yeah. So he goes for his, he gets his open elbow. He gets the elbow inside, free stiller. In the battle of him trying to break this grip, all I'm going to do is bring my right elbow towards his left hip as I shrimp on the inside. Put on her, my green hand is soft. Alright, just reset. Can't do one without the other. Try hip escaping. Okay, try hip escaping. And try bringing your elbow down. You need to do the two movements together. So once Car gets into this position, right here, if I just try to bring my elbow to this hip, it doesn't do nothing with his base. If I try to shrimp onto my right side, Car can stay with me. That makes sense. The right movement. If I do both together. Again, as I come from my hip to my knee, this hand just stops that leg from coming over. There is no arm bar unless you can get that leg over. So 